anyway, it was Edie Crawford, a doyama, happy on Tiker and Recordia, a cover in Project Street Art Opera. My project is a commissioned or street art opera, a uh, hip hop. Uh, my own car like project your mass at well um ever carvory i we did body with your ever sam hussein and um amelia unity um see the name graffiti um i have it drop your the story revolves around a woman who practices hijab or who wears a headscarf and she is kind of overcoming the societal pressures and limitations that have been put on to her and how she goes through a transformational spiritual journey of uh, realizing her gift of creativity. It's a very different experience doing an, an opera. I'm still figuring out what that means. But for me as well, like um, animation is a new thing for me. Normally I paint on walls with a spray can, but now I'm creating something with a tablet which will be projected onto walls so it's a very different experience but um, it's a very very collaborative process so we're all having input into all the different elements of what we're creating. The CD Cavansovi Cadoriaithi Gid Akin Hurchi have it. Mar music and and Kamaskedo hip hop are kind of music classic role. Vidi Guithio are Darno opera of line, um, have it commissioned of El Hip Hop Soul. Um, so, Etom and really nice. Squeeze your art, um, Darn opera of El Hin, see then Kamaski, a bead hip hop, a bead soul, ever music classic role. This is my first sort of operatic piece. The style of singing is uh, based off sort of like um, a cappella Sufi singing where we kind of, it's about um, divine love but it's also about kind of loving yourself before you love others. The lyrics revolve around the status of a, a woman and how the woman is elevated and valued in Islam. Unfortunately, cultural wise, people didn't, don't necessarily see that and it's just a reminder of the kind of divine status that have been given to us but, you know the woman who she is she is mercy she's a nurturer and yeah just realizing the kind of divine energy that we all carry uh, and that's kind of promoted a lot in the spiritual circles um, where, where I come from that you know we carry light of God within us and we're able to create especially as women incredible. It's terrific to be working with Edie and her music. It's really lovely. We've only spoken on the phone today's the day we've got together and put the full thing in. But it's a great operatic story. They've asked me to be the voice of male oppression. I've been through it and playfully found how this power of the male voice seeks to diminish and how then there's a battle. So it's a big operatic battle. The, the part that I'm singing in it is in Urdu, which is my mother tongue. And it's really important to share that heritage and also celebrate the language and how the cross over the Welsh culture, uh, the Pakistani Indian and also the spiritual culture as well as the creativity. So it's kind of like a happy marriage of all those different things. Getting to know um, Sam and her culture has been a really special thing. It's, it's really great to be, be working with such talented people. It's an attempt to break out of the opera theatre onto the street, using street art, also using music and using operatic stories. And I think it's just going to be, yeah, we've had so much fun making it and I think everyone's going to enjoy it. My dear God, be it for the opera and also for the